Hi, everybody. I am Pastor Larry Macon, pastor of the Mount Zion Church, Oakwood Village, right outside of Cleveland, Ohio. Here's what Romans 6, 5 says. If we have been united with him, Christ, in death like his, we will certainly also be united with him in a resurrection like his. A marvelous, marvelous text. You know, when I have a cold or the flu, I am more aware of my body than I usually am. And so symptoms like a cough, a fever, some aches and some chills cannot be ignored when I am undergoing those kinds of illnesses. You know, sicknesses make me aware of what's wrong. And it makes me long for healing. I cannot wait to be healed. So when we are honest with ourselves, we can see that sin is still present in our lives. We are tempted to sin and we often fall into it. We need to ask for forgiveness constantly. And when we think about eternal life, we imagine a future when our lives will be sin free. But here is more. In Christ, we are already being made new. That's right. The process of healing spiritually in Christ. And so an important truth about Christ's death and resurrection is that by believing in God's power to save us, we die to our old life of sin. And we are baptized with Christ into his death. And we are raised with him to live a new life by the power of the Holy Spirit. And so in Jesus' death, our sins have been paid for completely. And while that is truth, in his resurrection, we are led by the Spirit to live a forgiven life and a grateful life. So never forget, you are not stuck in a spiritual waiting room suffering from spiritual sickness. No, no, not like in the case of physical sickness. We are already receiving the necessary healing that allows us in God's strength, listen to me, my friend, to resist sin and to live in gratitude, sharing God's love with other folk. Isn't that a marvelous text? Isn't that a marvelous message? Let me close. In Christ's death, we have died to sin. The Bible says, and by his resurrection, we are being made new. Let's pray together. Oh, Lord Jesus, our Father, our God, Spirit of God and of Christ, help us to see that your death and resurrection takes away our sin and gives us new life. Lord, I want to live more fully for you, knowing that my sin is defeated by your resurrection and your death. And I am being made new all over again, healthy spiritually, in Jesus' name. Y'all have a great day, and thank you for listening to me. Come on, sit, sit. I believe, I believe you. I trust, I trust in you.
trust. I trust in you. In you, in you, oh Lord, oh Lord, Jehovah, you. I trust, I trust in you. Oh, no. 